Today, we're going to replace a pop-up assembly in a bathroom sink. Not very complicated. We have a few things that we need to take off and put in the new mechanism. The first thing we need to do is get ourselves some type of bucket and remove the P-trap, which is this little doodad right here. So we'll start with that. These should be able to be removed with just a little hand pressure. Sometimes you need a wrench, but if they're any tighter than that, then they were installed wrong because you're not supposed to put a wrench on these. No rings in there, no jewelry. Just some soap scum and some crud. Next thing is we're gonna disconnect the rod assembly from the old one. And there's a little clip on here that you squeeze and slide off the back. There's the clip and the piece that slides right off. You squeeze and slide off the back. There's the clip and the piece that slides off. Now we have to undo this nut up top. That we should need a wrench. Get you in a little closer here. here, unscrews, and you have to hold the threaded part still while you unscrew this. should be able to push this up and take it out through the top. And there's the piece that goes in the sink, comes down through the top. And there's the rubber seal and the chrome piece. In order to take the rod out, to disconnect that nut. Sometimes it's a wing nut. This one happens to be bolt. So wires on there. That comes off. And the old rod. This is what we're going to be installing, the Danco Easy Connect. I don't think you can get a much cheaper pop-up than this. Might have been about 10 bucks. Let's see what's in here. To get started, you want to back this nut off all the way to the bottom. You give yourself plenty of room to work. And then this rubber gasket is going to push it. So we have plenty of room. The reason why there's so many threads, and this is so adjustable, is because it's for different sinks depending on the thickness of your sink. These holes here are what lets the water get into the drain pipe when you overfill the sink, those little holes that are in the sink run down the 
channel in the sink and go in here. And this is the trim piece. This unscrews. So we take that off. And the way this is going to go together, I can show you here in the picture. I guess we're done with this. The rod is going to come down through the top of the sink and it's going to go into this flexible portion right here. And I'm guessing this blue rubber thing is to help hold the rod tight. So this will go in here. And we'll adjust the height once we get it all together. And then this is going to connect on here. So when we pull up and down on the rod, the whole thing will actuate. So we need to get some plumber's putty and put that around the trim piece. You'll see we still have plenty of room here with the rubber and the plastic washer. Get this positioned roughly where it needs to go. You want this part that has the socket for the ball to point towards the back. And top. You can see the putty's already started to squeeze out. Push this down. Getting plenty of squeeze out, which is what you want. And now we can start tightening up the nut on the bottom. Since this is a cheap plastic unit and it's not brass, you don't want to get too carried away with what you're doing here. You have a lot of give in this with that big rubber washer and the plumber's putty up top. So you don't need this to be too tight. If you try and over tighten one of these cheap plastic things, you're going to crack it apart and then you'll have to go spend another ten dollars on a new kit and take your excess plumber's putty just peel that off and we'll clean that up when we're done and that should be good faucet right here and it's behind the pipe it doesn't even come down all the way where we can see it right now so now we're going to take this part and it goes into that socket so we'll unscrew the cap off the back rod in and needs to be flat like this. There's an indicator on the side of it to help you out. So we're going to screw that in with the rod. Now on most of these kits you have to put the stopper in to the drain and then feed the rod into there on this kit there's a slot in the stopper 
that will engage on this rod. And again, this nut does not have to be extremely tight. You want it to be somewhat loose so the rod can move up and down. And on the stopper, here's the slot. It drops down and clicks in. So let's see if we can get that to click in. There's our slot, which we want to the back, and we're gonna try and get that to lock in. Put that down. And I'm gonna grab the rod underneath, push up, and see if I can get that in there. Not just yet. contraption connected to the rod that works pop up and the rod that connects from up above. So the first thing we want to do is get this on. Let's see how easy this is to do. trap back on and the plastic nut and the washer. Put the nut on and then slide the plastic washer on with the taper facing down. Slide that on. Put this up like here. Put a wrench on these, it's only plastic. Make sure everything's secure, and let's see if we have any leaks. Well, while you're checking for leaks, it's a good idea to fill the sink up cause it to overflow. So you can make sure you have a good seal up top. So let's see. And we have water flowing into the overflow. The problem with these overflows is they almost never let enough water go down. You let this run long enough, this sink would still overflow. But we're not going to do that because we're trying to fix problems, not make problems. I'm going to open the drain and see if we have any leaks. dripping. We're all done. There you have it. Quick and easy changing uh, pop-up assembly on a sink.